Hey there, it's Tanner and Victoria from The Young Homestead. We were tagged by Adler Farms to answer the 10 new questions for homesteaders. Yeah. So I have them on my phone and we're just going to go through them one by one and answer them for you. The first one is, do you homestead full time or do you have a day job? We got a day job. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have toddlers, so there's that. And then I'm kind of the day-to-day -day care of the animals on the homestead person. And what do you do, Tim? I'm the day-to-day -day financial care. <laughs> <laughs> we have a saltwater aquarium retail store and maintenance business. Uh, children's dentists really like saltwater aquariums. All and... dentists like saltwater aquariums. <laughs> Many people like saltwater aquariums. Everybody wants one. And so... it's my job to make sure we find out where we put them. Yes. So yes, we do have a day job and Tanner kind of focuses on that and I kind of focus on this. On All the above around day here. Day to day. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We stay busy. <laughs> okay. Question number two. What was the first livestock animal you added to your homestead? It was that little chicken. Clara the chicken was our first homestead animal. She, uh, we actually, <laughs> we weren't going to get animals till spring. We moved out in the fall in October and then we moved out of town. And uh, I think I found her on Craigslist. It was a broody hen on 12 eggs and she only hatched two or three. Yeah. But yeah, Clara the chicken. It's off to a good start. Mm-hmm. All right, next question. What is your favorite way to eat eggs for breakfast? Hmm, it's on a daily basis, it switches. We switch it up, yeah. We get bored of one way and we try something new. I really like poached eggs on toast. I like steamed eggs. Three eggs, salt and pepper, get it hot, a little bit of water with the lid. Yeah, yep, Delicious. we do that a lot. All right, how big is your current homestead and how much bigger would you like it to be? Well, we have 11 acres. We have two acres fenced up on the hill for the cow, and then there's like a goat area, we have a chicken area, we have a lot of dog, big fenced areas, but I don't know, how much bigger would we like it to be? It's pretty good now. Pretty good. We have a lot more space than we have set We're up. We're currently using, yeah. yeah. We, we definitely want to put up a lot more fencing and get um, a lot more of it usable for feeding our different animals, but we're pretty happy with with what we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, question number five. What are some homesteading skills that you would like to learn in the next few years? Mm -hmm. well, I definitely want to set up my aquaponics setup in the greenhouse, get that rolling. I already know to, how to do it, but I want to, you know, do it in action in our house, in our greenhouse. Yep. And uh, I guess getting our soil amended really well. Yeah. You know, just getting everything set up using the animal droppings and Manure. various <laughs> composting skills and getting it all just perfect because right mm -hmm. now it's really sort of like a clay yeah. bentonite. You've done more gardening than me, but I really want to develop my gardening skills. I feel pretty good with the animals and and now I want to learn all about gardening. And, and it's then, a lifelong process. Yeah. So, you know, and developing it pasture for Rosie, like yeah. really get developing a, a healthy pasture that can feed the goats and cows all through the warm months and then maybe even like make hay for the winter that would be awesome perfect okay and then uh, cut it down by hand and bail it yeah like the good old the days scythe. <laughs> <laughs> okay what are your thoughts on fake meat well we recently actually watched a documentary all about meat they're growing in labs and um uh, it doesn't sound That's right to real me. meat, though. Well, it's made it's from just, real cells yeah. of animals. So what, where does the, the line get defined? Can make the vegetable meat is generally just not that great. I mean, and it doesn't meat? really make me feel that good, and it's usually not organic. Oh, so. oh like tofurkey or something like that? I don't that. know. Fake meat. All the above. Like, yeah. all the different fake meats. I wonder, if they're, I wonder if this question is referring to, like, meat grown in a lab or... Answer both. Meat made from soy or. I anyway. definitely don't want to eat lab grown meat. No. <clears> it just either. seems off. It does seem And off. you never know what kind of genetic stuff they can work into that. So, 
No not, thanks. Not fans of fake meat. All right. Ooh, ooh. I'm editing. A question. Okay. So seven. What does your dream homestead look like? Well, for me, it is making everything gorgeous, like landscaping and having cow sheds with trim and a sign that says Rosie and, you know, have the chicken coop look absolutely gorgeous and just make everything really look lovely and have, I don't know, a tea garden and make it a place that everywhere you go, there's something lovely to look at. I would like a team of people to do things around the, <laughs> the homestead so I can uh, watch it all become beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Hands off them. <homestead. laughs> I like doing it, but it uh, well, is never done, so it's always something. We but, always uh, have pride. Yeah, we always we like have it. something yeah. that needs to happen right now. Yeah. But, um, okay. What is your least favorite thing to do on the homestead? Mm. Least favorite thing. It's all pretty fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up dog poop isn't great. Yeah. Shucking cow manure is not great. Anything with poop really is not yeah. great. Yeah, across the board. Yeah. And, you know. I'm trying to think what else. Having to haul things from here to there and then from there back to here and <laughs> then from here back to here. And then the very, very, very back underneath all of it is the stuff you need. I'd be okay if all the fencing was already done as well. Hmm. I enjoyed the fencing. It it's, was fun. It's nice when it's done. Like, I enjoy doing it because I know then we'll yeah. have a new area. No, it's but awesome. I don't particularly enjoy it. You know? Good call. But also banding cats. You don't like being poked with barbed wire over and over no, again? No. I just... <laughs> as fun as it is. Banding cows isn't banding great. Banding cows isn't just great. just feels wrong. Yeah. You definitely feel like... I think right, a lot of go. people can relate to that. <laughs> Maybe particularly men. Maybe men. <laughs> Specifically. Um, all right. Next question. What is one piece of advice you would give your past self? Prior planning prevents poor performance. <laughs> <laughs> well, the two things I think of first are make sure you are really solid with one animal group and their setup and everything you need for them before you expand your animals. And I read that in a blog at one point, read as we were starting and I was like, meh. It'll be fine, but they were right, whoever that and, was. And less is definitely more. You can get a lot from a few chickens and a few goats mm -hmm. and a few cows. Right. You don't need you don't need eight goats. You don't need herds of everything yeah. because it you just becomes overwhelming. You don't need for a small family homestead. Yeah, yeah. We started yeah. out with 50 meat chickens a while back and we thought, ooh, is that going to be enough? And yeah. it was yeah. plenty. Yeah. In fact, we were vegetarians for a year after that. That's right. And we also blew like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on organic grain like literally yes, every organic month feed yeah you want to uh we actually decided that we wouldn't do it again until we had a really big garden where tons of the garden produce could be going towards feeding them or we could uh tractor them across a pasture and have them eating bugs and you know forage because yeah we spent a lot of money on just organic feed and they were we didn't have a the proper setup really We've moved but now we do since. Now we do. I know. We'll I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do meat rabbits next. Mm-hmm. Also, if you get sick when you're pregnant, plan ahead. Know that you will not want <laughs> to have the animals around. You will not want to necessarily be smelling goat. <laughs> I can attest to that. We've got two like, kids and we've fine. we've got a bunch of animals in and then a bunch of animals left. Yep, yep. we bought um, well we had our first round of homestead animals and then I was pregnant with our second, Aria, and everything kind of fell to pieces for a little while there because Tanner was working and trying to do all the animals and take care of the kids in the morning and when he got, I mean, or well, and I, built us a house. And built us a house during that time. So yes, it was um, just busy. Do do what you can can handle, I guess. Don't get in over your head because then it goes from being really fulfilling and amazing to really not fun quickly. Hi, Agnes. <gasps> Come here. Hi, sweetie. Cutest little goat ever. Hi. What's next? Okay. Ah. Number 10. What is one animal you will never raise on your homestead and why? Um, probably meat pigs because we don't eat pork. 
Okay, bonus question. Money is no object. You can add one thing to the homestead. What is it? Helicopters, obviously. Helicopters. Helicopters and backhoes. Big. Backhoes. Big backhoes. Uh, I think tractor would be our number one. <laughs> Get a tractor. Yeah. Yeah, we need a tractor. And then I think if we were doing animals and money was no object, I would probably get horses and build them a beautiful would you? stable and yeah. I know you love the horses, but uh, yeah. I'm always like, they give back by letting you ride them. And that's, yeah. that's and nice. With young, young children, we just, I don't know when we would ride anyway. We've just been so busy, but at some point, I think that would be awesome. And that was the last one. Cool. So there you go. There you go. Those are the 10 new questions for homesteaders. I have to go figure out what the 10 original questions were for homesteaders. I haven't actually seen that video. But thank you, Adler Farms, for tagging us for this. It was fun. And I am tagging Jess at Roots and Refuge. And I reached out to her on Instagram and maybe a little bit before that video comes out. But she is absolutely amazing. Her YouTube channel is wonderful. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out immediately. She's putting out a lot of really wonderful gardening videos right now. And I have been watching them because that's what I'm learning right now. We're about to be gardening. Mm -hmm. Lots of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. See ya.